Last week, I reported that the Delta variant fueled resurgence in COVID cases cascading across the nation presents a real danger to our community, especially to unvaccinated people. Secondly, that the Kent County Health Department encourages schools and families to follow the recommendations of the CDC and the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, including mask use in schools. And finally, that I was not issuing a public health order requiring masking in schools at that time because schools and parents still had an opportunity to address the issue without an order. Over the course of the past week, the situation has grown more dire. Community transmission has been elevated to the high category for Kent County and most of the rest of the country. We were three categories lower than that just a few weeks ago. All epidemiological measures of COVID in our community are once again trending in the wrong direction. While approximately half of all county residents are vaccinated for COVID-19, no children under the age of 12 are yet eligible for vaccine. I expect FDA authorization of the Pfizer vaccine for most children sometime later this year or perhaps early in 2022. The reality is that we are beginning to concentrate our community's most susceptible people, our unvaccinated children, into closely packed indoor classrooms for a new school year. I met with a representative group of superintendents from the Kent Intermediate School District earlier this week. They informed me of three things. First, voluntary masking will not accomplish the objective of universal mask use. Second, they observed that proper mask use did limit disruptions due to illness during the last school year. And three, they expressed their desire for me to issue an order if an imminent danger is present. On Wednesday of this week, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services publicly presented an update on COVID-19 data trends. That presentation included data and interpretation supporting the following statements from them. First, consistent mask use can reduce risk in the school setting, and counties with mask mandates across the country have experienced lower rates of illness. I've also been communicating with leadership from our local healthcare institutions, Spectrum Health, Mercy Health St. Mary's, and Metro Health University of Michigan Health. And my colleagues at the Ottawa County Department of Public Health have been communicating with Holland Hospital and the North Ottawa Community Health System. Each of these healthcare systems, backed by extraordinary health science expertise and experience, communicated to us their support and encouragement for masking in the school environment as an effective means to protect children and our West Michigan community. I know that many people have very different ideas about data and which experts and organizations are trustworthy. There's probably very little that I can do in this moment to resolve those differences. What I have to ask myself is, what do I believe? I believe that masks are very imperfect tools but that they do reduce risk and they make it more difficult for COVID to spread. And I believe that without mask use, it is likely that we will see illness and even death, which could have been avoided. With these things in mind and further informed by the recommendations of our medical advisory group, the American Academy of Pediatrics and the CDC, the health officers of the Kent County Health Department and the Ottawa County Department of Public Health myself and Lisa Stefanovsky respectively, have today issued public health orders which require, first, that educational institutions shall ensure that people in pre-kindergarten through grade six consistently and properly wear a facial covering while inside any enclosed building or structure of the institution. And second, that educational institutions shall ensure that all persons regardless of vaccination status, providing service to any persons in pre-kindergarten through grade six properly and consistently wear a facial covering while inside any enclosed building or structure of the institution. This order shall not apply to the following persons. Persons in the act of eating or drinking, persons under the age of four years, 
However, supervised masking is recommended for children who are at least two years of age. Persons with developmental conditions of any age attending school, although again, supervised masking is encouraged. Vaccinated teachers who are working with children who are hard of hearing or students with developmental conditions who benefit from facial cues. And persons who have a medical reason confirmed in writing from a medical doctor or a doctor of osteopathic medicine currently licensed to practice medicine in the state of Michigan. These orders will remain in effect until 60 days past the date COVID-19 vaccine is authorized or approved by the FDA and available to persons in pre-kindergarten through grade six or community transmission for our counties is categorized as low by the CDC for at least seven consecutive days or until further notice from the health officers. In conclusion, I wanna recognize the thousands of people who have made their voices and opinions on this topic heard. I specifically wanna express my gratitude to those of you on both sides of this issue, both sides of this issue who have told me that you are praying for me. Thank you. As a person of faith, that means a lot to me. I want all of you to know that I am praying for you too. Whether you agree or disagree with me, I pray that you are all blessed in countless ways. I deeply believe in the sanctity and the beauty of all human life and pray for the protection and the safety of each of you. Please know that I also pray for wisdom and I pray for our country. Thank you 